Welcome back to another week out at Folsom. Whew. Man, it is blowing already, dude. I understand some of these waves look small in the video. <laughs> That's cold. I mean, look at these. These are not little waves. They always look so small in videos. I'm not gonna be able to fish the peninsula right now. I'm not even gonna try. I'm on the north side, I'm on Granite Bay. So, man, I'm gonna have to run away from this wind. I'm gonna run up the fork. Let's get going, man. I'll record the ride out. So this, the, the lens is probably gonna get covered in water, I'm sure. All right, see you there. Almost there, almost there, let's go. Yes, I'm aware that was some terrible driving. Here we are. I'm gonna start at the uh, first spot, that tree right there. I wanna get a jerk bait on and a swim bait at least. And we'll go from there. Last week, these fish seemed to be sitting at about 15 feet deep. That's probably where they're gonna be today, except for first thing in the morning. And if you find shade, structure, that sort of thing. So, I don't know. Uh, that kinda looks good back there too. There's some shade, nice flats for them to feed on. So we're going to work this pretty quick, scope it, and uh, see what we can find. Let's go, boys. Got me a little whopper plopper. So we got a couple options. I may cruise back there, though. I mean, check that out. That looks pretty good back there for a nice little feeding flat. There's a creek channel that runs through here. Uh, nice little feeding area. Windblown points, windblown trees up there. And we are ploppering. Plopping, plopping, plopping. Plopper, plopping, plopper in. What are we? Only 14 feet deep here. Ooh. Holy shit, dude. That thing just came out of nowhere. It wasn't even floating by me. Dude, that thing must have been chasing bait fish over here or something. Holy crap. I think I pooped my pants. Ooh, god damn. Yeah, you can see all the little sticks and everything sticking up over there. But there's all sorts of fallen timber and trees and brush and crap like that up there. Hey, you might drop a, a flashy swimmer or a Senko. Down on this, down on these trees. Senko might be good. Let that wind just push it in there. All right, let's try my Senko. Just gonna let that bad boy fall. Sink, whatever. I'm gonna throw this right on the point of those trees here in a sec. Let that wind push my Senko right into those trees. A couple more casts for this before we move on. I want to get it right in that pocket right there. Perfect. Get one little pop. A little bouncy. Let them know it's alive. Just let it do its thing. Just wiggle, 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 wiggle it. Moving on, so. I found a submerged culvert out there somewhere yonder and uh, there's all sorts of bait fish and there's all sorts of fish around it sitting at between 35 and 45 feet I tied on a drop shot with a Yamamoto I don't know three or four inch little shad looking thing there's bait balls all around here and there's fish all around here around this culvert so I'm gonna try and hit this for a little bit there's a submerged road bed under it. There's a road bed that goes through here. There's a creek channel that goes through here with a culvert. 
and some bait fish and i see other fish around it what those other fish are no idea but we're going to see if we can't rip one of those up from about 35 feet that's the thing i noticed with these garmin units their fishing charts aren't that great like it, it's it actually says the word submerged culvert but i had to look on my navionics map on my uh, ipad to actually see where the structure was it didn't have a little icon on my on my garmin maps where the little piece of structure is so i was kind of a little bit disappointed in that picking up a ton of fish along this bank here all sitting at 15 feet so i put on this rapala uh, it's supposed to go down to about eight to ten that one on a jerk bait nice one there we go he's a fatty Jerkbait baby, lucky craft. Love that guy out here. Oh, that's a nice one. Let's hurry up and get him in the water. I had him uh, out for a little bit. I still got one fish in there from last week. So I'll uh, put this on the other side. Eh, not as big as I thought, but. 211. I'll take it. Let's get you back in the water. We've had you out of long enough. See you later, bud. I switched it up to a jerk bait. They were hitting a jerk bait uh, a couple, uh, oh, for the last few weeks for me. Let me get this out of my bag and I'll show you which one I'm using. This is a jerk bait that I got them on. It's a little Lucky Craft. It's probably my favorite jerk bait out here. You can see how scuffed up it is all across the top. Those are fish, fish bites, man. They love this freaking thing. It's a little Lucky Craft uh, shallow diver. Now my line's all scuffed up, but uh, I'm gonna have to retie that. Got them right there at the beginning of the shade. This little, there's a creek bed that runs back through this cove that I've been fishing in back to uh this area over here and i seen all the shade on the bank and figured you know there's got to be something over here man not even five casts with that jerk bait up shallow and he's on there switched it up to the spinner bait white chartreuse whatever double willow one gold one chrome i'm seeing bass just cruising everywhere you know it's this windy and uh you know it's 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 Blowing a good 10, 15 miles an hour out here, easy. What do these damn fish want? Another one on that jerk bait. Little guy. And right when I got him, I seen a, about a three pounder jump over there too. I'm telling you, they want these jerk baits right now. Thank you for biting the little dude. You're almost as big as my uh, my jerk bait. Just got my first bite on a swim bait. Oh, look at the little baby duckies. Oh, you babies. The bite that I just had wasn't, didn't feel any very big, but it was a bite. Came back here because I seen this, this lay down up here. I wanted to hit that. I was just casting up at the bank along the way and got a hit. Now I know why the little baby duckies are back here. There's no wind, no nothing. Completely dead calm. Oh, dude, I just had one follow it up. Turned around right at the boat. Little guy. Oh, I just had one hammer it. Little dude. Of course. This happened too quick, but, uh, I seen these guys right off the front of my boat just swimming around on my live scope off this little tree. I just dropped it down and dude picked it right up. <laughs> All right, thanks, bro. Ooh. See ya. Yeah, it's like bluegill fishing, man. That's what dropped it right in front of my boat. He hit, I pulled him, lifted him straight out of the water. <laughs> I'm all swimming around. That's right under my boat. 
Uh, oh, they kind of moved. But they're all over the place in here, these little dudes. That was cool, man. Dropped it right on his freaking head. Shabadoink. He said, I'll eat that. And I said, I'll gank you in the face. Thank you for playing. Think I got one? Yep. <laughs> Ow, ow, dude. Ow. My hook ganked me. You got ganked, I got ganked, we all got ganked. There you go. Phew! Well, that's fun. That's what you do with live scope. Oh, yeah, there's, see, there's, there's a couple of good ones swimming around in here, too. And that somehow, they all keep ending up under my trolling motor. I hooked up with a good one. Oh man. On a crankbait. There we go. Woo. Good one. Boy, I'm glad I stayed in the spot. See, these are the ones that I'm seeing that are bigger. Right there. That's nice. Yeah, boy. Okay. Two on six. Nice, man. Yeah, see, these are the bigger ones that I see swimming around on my live scope over here. So I wanted to, I was just about out of here, saw my crankbait, and I was like, yeah, you know, I'm going to try and try and throw that crankbait around. And I'm glad I did. How awesome does this stuff look? I just had a little, had a little six inch bass followed up. Right in between the little bush and the tree, man. How is that not a fish? I bought some little, little baby Senkos that you'd probably use for like a Ned rig. I'm gonna wacky rig one here in June bug color. First cast with that uh, little Ned Rig, Wacky Rig style, and a June Bug color. He's small, but he's a fighter, man. Whew. Ooh, he's throwing up bait all over the place. Nice little jump there. Look at that. That dude's been caught multiple times. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. This dude's been ganked multiple times. We don't need to weigh him. Uh, he's maybe 12, but whatever. We'll only weigh for sure keepers. Oh, I feel like I just had another hit. Yep, there's a hit. He might be on. Got him. Little guys, but now I'm getting them. You know what I mean? <laughs> this one been gun gotted many times too. I'm gonna get it back in. He's bleeding. Okay, see you later. I'm out of here, man. It's two o'clock. Lake lice are everywhere. I ended the day with I don't know six, seven, eight, somewhere around there. Only two keepers. Both of them went over just over two pounds. I caught them on quite a few things today. I got them on a crankbait, swim bait, drop shot. Uh, drop shot with a flatworm, drop shot with a wacky rig three inch Senko, and jerk bait. So got them on a number of things today. Water temp is almost 78 degrees. Man, I got out here and the wind was blowing. It was at least 15 miles an hour. And I think that pushed the fish up shallow. And then you can see now, I mean, it's nice and calm out there. I'm, I'm past the main point up the north a little bit, and I think that's blocking some of the wind. I think with, this, with the less wind up here, I think the fish backed off onto humps and ledges and stuff like that. So a couple of hours ago, maybe two hours ago when I came up this far, I should have went to some ledges and some underwater island tops and crap like that, a little bit deeper, 20 to 40 feet. 
kind of screwed up. Wasted a lot of my afternoon. Last three hours, I kind of feel like I screwed up. But hey, man, you're always learning. That's what you're out here fishing for. I'm getting out of here. See ya.